All right, we're going to go through how to do a sepia tone in Photoshop. There are quite a few different ways to do this, and you probably find a dozen different tutorials on the subject. So this is just one of them, and let's get started. On the screen here, I've got this kind of old image here that I think might look better in a sepia tone. So the first thing I need to do is switch it to grayscale. So you go to Select Image, Mode, and Grayscale. Uh, mode and grayscale. You want to discard the colors when you see the pop-up and it turns the image to grayscale. Next go back to image mode and what you want to do is select a dual tone but notice it's not letting me select it for this. The reason for that is because I've got it to uh, 16 bits. Uh, it'll only work on 8 bits for this particular method of doing the process. So what I did is I switched it to 8 bits Go back to image mode and notice now we have the duotone option. Select that and it's going to bring up a screen here. It's going to be a bit extreme at first and you won't actually see this here. The, the reason why it's showing for me is because I walked through this before doing the tutorial to make sure I actually uh, did it correctly. It'll default to monotone here. You want to make sure that you've got it selected to duotone and then from there you want to select the box here. So this uh, previously was black. Select it, it'll pull up the color picker window, and you want to put in a color that'll give you that kind of brownish. In this case, for the hex code, I went C48F56, and that gives me that. You can kind of play with it a little bit if you want. Hit OK. Now in that box there, it's going to say sepia one or whatever else you want to name it then you go to your second box ink 2 here click on that it's going to default to white with this one you want to just change it to black so switch it to a bunch of zeros hit OK now we're starting to look pretty good We've got some nice blacks got a nice sepia going on here hit OK oops all inks must be named, and uh, in this one I'm just going to write black since that's what it is. You can do more if you want, but you don't need to for this. Next step, we want to go to image mode and RGB color. Mode, RGB color, select that. That's going to enable the RGB color. And then from here, you can adjust your saturation levels if you want. Um, this is pretty spot up, but I'll show you what I mean. So you can go to image adjustment, hue saturation. You can also do this by Control U, or you can use your adjustments panel over on the right if you want. And you want to drop your saturation a little bit here. Um, for this one, I might go not quite 40. I usually go around about 40, but for this particular image, I think I'm going to drop it about to negative 20 uh, to give it how I want. And that's pretty much it. So you've noticed here I've got a nice sepia toned image. That's just one way to do a quick sepia tone. You can adjust the saturation and stuff if you want it more of that kind of like a brownish or you know lighter colored sepia versus what I have here, which is kind of like this uh, a bit more darker. Hope you found that useful. And I guess as always, leave a comment, thumbs up, you know, whatever you do on YouTube. Thanks.